Let's start. The project name is Recycler View, View Type. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in the UI, we have activity underscore main.xml, which is the layout of the main activity. A row underscore image.xml and a row underscore name.xml file define the layout of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have the recycler view. In the row underscore image.xml file, the constraint layout is the root layout. This is the image view. And this is the text view. In the row underscore name.xml file, this is the text view. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is the model class, first, we have written to constant values which we will use later. These are the data members of the class. Along with the name and image, we also have the type variable for the view type. These are the imports. This is my adapter class. In the onCreateView holder function, we inflate the row XML files according to the view type. If the view type to be used is the name type, we inflate the row underscore name.xml file, and we create its respective view holder object and return it. And if the view type to be used is the image type, we inflate the row underscore image.xml file, and we create its respective view holder object and return it. In the bind view holder function, we check the view type and set the data in the UI accordingly. If the view type is of name type, we set the name in the text view. And if the view type is of image type, we set the name in the text view and the image in the image view. In the getItemCount function, we calculate the total number of rows in the recycler view. In the getItemViewType function, we decide which view type to be used and when. These are the view holders of name and image view types. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array list of the model class type and an array of strings, which we will use to fill the recycler view data. In the getData function, we fetch the data from the array and put it inside the array list as a recycler view needs the data in array list format. Here we are using the name view type, so the second argument fetches the text data from the array and the third argument which is for the image is kept at zero. Here we are using the image view type, so the second argument fetches the data from the array, and the third argument fetches the image from the drawable folder. Accordingly, different rows have different and random view types. In the onCreate function, we set up the recycler view, meanwhile calling the getData function. Let's run the app. As you can see, the recycler view has been populated with the data that we had passed in it. The first two rows only have name view type, so they only have the text in them. But the third row has the image view type. So it has text as well as image in it. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view, view type in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.